Flavor, flay, 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 flay. Flavor, flay, 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 flay. <laughs> I want to give you something different, kind of make you guys laugh a little bit. Get, you know, just give it a different perspective. Some of your questions answered live and in living color. It's time to free yourself. We are not going into 2021 with all of this bouffant life. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. Hey, this is my first time um, outside walking in a month, trying to see if I can get stuff back on track from this um, Rona. So not the usual five miles, that's what I usually do today, I'm just gonna Try to get this mile in and, and see how this goes. And my purpose of this is <clears throat> just kind of letting y'all see how this stuff goes and how you have to keep on pushing. So if you uh. missed it. started having symptoms, light symptoms on maybe the 29th. Really started feeling sick on the 30th that night, late that night when I was trying to sleep. Um, 31st, it got worse. Oh, I'm rhyming. Um, on January the 1st, I felt so bad I, I had to go to the doctor. I went to, um, Oh, Piedmont had a rapid test done and I tested positive for coronavirus. coronavirus. And I have been pretty much dealing with it ever since. I'm on the tail end of it. So for those of you that have been following, you know, all the symptoms that I told you guys I had, everything's going pretty good or at least better than it was before um still can't smell anything um it's going on a month now um as far as my taste i have some taste back but i still i can tell if stuff is sweet or salty or you know something like that but i don't have that full taste back and I guess it'll come back whenever the smell comes back because those senses kind of go hand in hand um my back <laughs> my back is killing me it is still killing me um <sighs> and the breathing is, is getting it's getting a little bit better I'm actually doing pretty good out here walking and talking at the same time i'm trying to get back to work y'all um so that's what we have right now and it feels pretty good it feels pretty good to let the the air the wind get in your chest i'm praying i'll end up regretting this later but just letting you guys know how that is going oh still have some um congestion I, I did get some medicine um, for that to try to get some of the congestion out of my head that's that's still sitting there so that's why my voice still has like some some raspiness to it because of that so I think once I get rid of that then um we'll be on the upslope um because that brings headaches and stuff as well so I think like yesterday I literally I woke up with a headache and I went to sleep with the headache and I was popping Tylenol all day and that didn't do anything. So I don't know how long the um, the effects um, tend to linger, but those are some of the things that I am still dealing with. But compared to what it was, I am not complaining. 
I am not complaining. So, <sighs> wait, that was another thing that um, I was telling you guys about. So, um, I am now down. Well, I won't give you guys my weight, but um, I've gone from 15 to 16 to 17, now 21 pounds that um, I have lost since this stuff started. And um, it's not intentional. God is still good. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Even though sometimes I feel like I, I want to, I'm not, I'm not complaining. I still thank them for life, health, and strength. Just want you guys to see this, this view back here. But yeah, um, that's one of the things that we were always taught that things could always be worse. Think about that person that has this going on. Think about that person that has that going on. And you think you have the right to complain. So that's my thought on stuff right now. Who am I to complain about anything? Because a lot of people didn't make it through. So I'm thankful for the headaches and the pains and, you know, I just think that's the way that we have to look at things sometimes. We have people that are going through far worse things than we are or have ever been through. And I think sometimes we get caught up in our own self-loathing that we forget. We forget about that, so. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this air feels so good right now. Oh my God, it feels so good. But that's, that's my message for today. We need to stop complaining about what's going on, what happened, what didn't happen, what could have happened, what should have happened. in the prison and look towards the future. Learn from the past. Things are what they are. You just have to roll with the punches. You have to roll with the punches and keep it moving. Whew. I'll get this. <sighs> so good people. This is my little message for today. Hope you guys got something out of it. It's been a long time since I've been on a walk with you guys. And I actually stopped before because... <sighs> Stop for a minute. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but walking. Walking brings me peace. And... um. I won't apologize for that. And I always hope that me coming on here walking motivated somebody else to, to go out and, and walk. Hope you guys have a blessed Sunday. Enjoy the game today because I'm going to enjoy it even though my team isn't in it. Go Panthers. Um, 
and let's see who's going to the Super Bowl. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, this air feels so good right now. Oh my God, it feels so good. 